All right, what is up, guys? It's been a while since we did a YouTube video together, but we're back at it. So recently, I've been discussing a lot about context, and I want to kind of just dig in and discuss what I mean by that. So let's just get right into the video. This is the BTC chart on the daily time frame, and these are the 200 daily moving averages. So the blue is 200 daily EMA, green is 200 daily MA, simple moving average. Just by using these as a general portrayal for the market, I'm able to kind of assess that the market is in a different kind of environment today and as of the past month and a half, really, than it was for the first eight months to start the year. Just with that simple assumption, I then have a context in the back of my mind. I have now provided a foundation to stack every single lower time frame analysis on top of. And that way, I kind of give myself a way of piecing the puzzle together and really just understanding each piece to the puzzle. And that way, when I put the puzzle together, I have a pretty clear understanding of the chart as a whole and how to navigate it regardless of direction thereafter. The reality is in markets and the conclusion that you kind of have to come to is that you're not a genius and I am not either. At any given time, I may assume that the market is going to go up and it may go down and vice versa. You have to give yourself a way of understanding the context to dictate specific kind of key inflection points for the market to determine when things might go up, but when they also might go down. And yes, this does sound like the you know usual, oh my God, he's a LARP, market may go up or might go down kind of thing. And then people make fun of me and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it is that. But the whole point of being a trader is so that you can potentially do well in markets regardless of direction. So it seems kind of contradictory to sit here and bash people for acknowledging that the market may go up or it may go down any given time. Your job is really just to provide a kind of narration for price and then to justify to yourself, your own gut, why you're able to press buttons in the manner that you're pressing them in, your execution. So my way of telling the story and breaking it down via context is moving in tandem with how I'm actually approaching the market at any given time. If I'm saying something in terms of an analysis, you would imagine I am trading it as such. So those 200 daily moving averages painted the big picture. We have to be able to acknowledge whatever's happening on the lower time frames, because again, if you ever wanted to reclaim those 200 dailies, you would have to break out of this local range first. You would also have to break out of these four hour 200s first. The way that I like to pertain to this is the saying of you cannot build a snowman without building the snowball first. It's just not possible. So that's the beauty of it in markets, right? If our high time frame environment or our context were to ever shift and we wanted to be something back into resemblant of a bull market like the first eight months of this year or even just a bullish market environment, then we would have to start breaking out of key levels. We would have to trade above these stupid little green and blue lines. We would have to break market structure and create a higher high on something like a daily chart which we have not done in the past two and a half months. So just simply by assessing the time frame individually, I'm able to kind of give myself a glimpse into what might happen next. How is the story potentially going to progress next? And obviously, it's only either up further and we continue compounding onto the snowball or that snowball gets crushed and it hits a tree and we knew that tree was there from a mile away. And finally, we got to that tree and we hit it and our snowball of strength is totally negated and wiped away and we go back into the exact same kind of market environment that we were in for these two months at which point each and every single one of us can call back to that higher time frame context and clearly say oh yeah look i mean we bearish retested the 200 dailies that's the point everything in trading is obvious because you already know what the potential outcomes are your job is really just to give yourself a story to tell and be able to navigate whatever happens through that narration of the story. So when we're reclaiming four hour 200s here, we're also breaking out of the range. Those are two key bullish arguments that we have not done anytime in the past two months for this circled area and any time in the past month in this circled area. That's both a low time frame range breakout and a high time frame trend reclaim in one. That happens all at the exact same kind of price point. The caveat, of course, is our highest time frame context, those 200 daily moving averages, is that bearish argument, that higher time frame context comes into play and becomes relevant literally 
two or three percent higher. That's when we have to begin running through the whole playbook all over again, assessing, are we going to be able to get past this tree and continue compounding? Or is this the tree that's going to crush us? So then from there, only one of two possible outcomes. Our snowball gets crushed, meaning the two months of uptrend strength, the high time frame shift, the breakout above the range in hindsight ends up being a deviation. This is now a fluke. This is now a fake out. It's a bull trap. It's a deviation. It's whatever you want to call it. But the fact of the matter is, you thought we would do something to a greater degree that we had not done any time in the past two months. And obviously, that didn't happen. So from here, we need to be able to continue progressing the story. It's very easy to do that because we already applied that attribution of context, the greater bearish argument when we zoom out higher than this time frame. We've now provided a much more seamless kind of thought process. And again, I would hope. If you're able to apply the thought process seamlessly, you're then able to trade it as such as well. You should kind of find yourself in a balanced state of mind where regardless of however the market ebbs and flows, you're ready and able to take advantage of the opportunities that follow thereafter. This is how, if we do end up going into a bear market, you will find yourself waiting on the sideline in cash basking in the glory of watching your purchasing power increase continuously. And if we do go into a bull market, you won't have to be the person who's debating is now a good time to buy finally after we've created a new all-time high. So all that simply means is that my attribution of context for Bitcoin has essentially come down to the point where my conclusion is because the highest of time frames is already bearish and that argument, that key argument has then totally negated any strength that we've shown on a lower time frame than that, we're now collectively in agreement that the market is either downtrending or moving sideways again. I can definitively expect continuation of that exact same outcome the same way that I did for all of these two months. And if I'm wrong, here's what has to happen first. In order for us to reclaim four hour 200s again, or go on further than that and reclaim 200 dailies, or just see another push into 40K, or maybe even a new all-time high, or maybe even hyper-Bitcoinization, where Bitcoin gets globally adopted as the world currency. In order for any of that to happen, we have to reclaim this local trend first. We would also have to get above this stupid little range high draw that I have on my chart. This is exactly how I'm able to provide a story for myself and narrate whatever the chart is doing and keep a context in mind of how that story is set up from the get-go, and then add more information as more actionable information, like the 30-minute candlestick that we're looking at right now, gets printed. I'm allowing myself to continuously adapt with whatever the market itself is doing. I'm fortunate enough that the past few years, my way of doing this hasn't left me feeling lost. Meaning the market has never just randomly decided to rip a 30% daily candlestick in the midst of a major downtrend on all time frames and vice versa. So the idea is so long as the market is continuously favorable to me in that standpoint, and we don't have those crazy unforeseen kind of moves where a catalyst occurs, I will be able to navigate whatever the market is doing at any given time, because on any given time frame. I fully understand what's happening because again, we cannot build a snowman without building the snowball first. But once we build that snowball, my perception of the snowman potentially being created starts to increase somewhat. As those arguments continuously compound, I can then open my mind to the idea of a snowman to a much greater degree. So wrapping all of this back up with the Bitcoin analysis, Essentially, we are in the exact same market environment that we have been in for all of this price period, bar the times where we broke out of the range, with the exact same high time frame bearish context that we have had for these two months of downtrend and the past month and a half ever since losing those 200 daily moving averages. So logically, I'm allowing myself to anticipate the same kind of outcome. If I end up being wrong on that analysis, I would have to be able to see it coming first. A snowball needs to be created in order for this kind of thought process to be invalidated. So long as a snowball or local strength is not created, I can continue justifying the same outcome 
of which I justified for all of the past two months. So before we wrap up this video, I do just wanna say I am doing a Bybit giveaway. So I'm giving away an iPhone 15. If you're interested in participating in that giveaway, it's as simple as filling out the Google Doc in the description below. You simply just have to fill in your Bybit user ID and the email address that's attached with your account. So if you don't have a Bybit account and you want to support me, you can register using my Bybit referral link in the description below. And if you have a Bybit account, but you're not on my referral link, filling in that Google Doc will transfer you to be under my link to be eligible for that giveaway. Additionally, I do have my own private group. So if you are on my Bybit or my Femex referral links, you will be eligible to join that private group and get access to live streams three days a week, my personal trade ideas, and you'll get to personally interact with me through the medium which I'm most active in. I'm in that Discord 24-7. So if you're interested in joining that group, you can register with either the Bybit referral link or the Femex referral link in the description below. And once you've done that, just shoot me a message through either Twitter or Discord and let me know your user ID and I'll get you in the group as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed the video. Much love, take it easy.